Three, two, one. Welcome to the studio, ladies and gentlemen. Today, we have the Jabra Elite 3s in the studio for a long-term review. These are one of those under $100 earbuds that a lot of people are attracted to. One of the coolest things about this earbud is one of the features that go over on the box. It says right here, noise, isolation, design, and hear through. The reason I bring that up is because other under $100 earbuds don't have transparency modes like these ones. Now, noise isolation design doesn't mean that there's active noise canceling. It just means that these fit so tightly that you're not gonna hear anything else. But because they have this hear through mode that basically allows you to hear your surroundings if you want to. Each of these earbuds has a little mic on them which amplifies the surrounding sound into your ear. And it actually works really well. It may be one of the best transparency modes I've ever used on any set of earbuds. So whether you're in the bus and you need to hear the bus stops or you're in the train or you're at a lecture and you don't wanna take them off, you can always turn on this transparency mode and you can hear your surroundings just fine. And that's really cool because the Sony's don't actually have that. So you actually need to take out the entire earbud, put them in the case to get any kind of interaction outside of the earbuds. So now let's go into fit. And this is where we're going to have to start talking about some negatives, unfortunately. Unlike the Sony's and the Beats Fit Pros, those ones would wrap behind your cochlea. These ones are more wedge design, so they're basically all about getting as deep into your ear canal as possible. And while for some people these will fit just fine, for me personally, my ear canals are so tight that even the smallest earbud size doesn't fit. I would not even go running with these earbuds, not that I do, but, but Personally, just for my ears, these just don't fit well enough. Like I can use these sit up, sit down, walk around, things like that should be just fine. But anything more like running, maybe even jogging, these will fall out. The benefit, however, to very deep fit is bass. Ladies and gentlemen, this is very it, the base is actually mind-blowing for the price we're paying here. At time of this video, these were $80, and this base is proper. Without distorting any of the sound quality, it really hits hard. And again, it's partly because of how deep inside your ear canal they fit, but again, the, if you're looking for proper base delivery, it's got you. Uh, Jabra also has this like Jabra app which is pretty cool. Um, they basically have a few presets available for you to be able to make, you know, further tune your sound uh, to what you want it to. So you can actually do an additional bass boost and that'll give you that additional thump. Um, it doesn't have full EQ control like the Sony's app did, but I think for most people, it's really gonna, just the presets are gonna be able to allow you to get the sound that you want. Now, the case is actually very small. It's smaller than the Sony's, it like, it really, really really disappears so i really like the case it's very subtle as well nothing like fancy or anything just quiet clean no no drama um and another cool thing i like about these is that it doesn't flap around so when you open it it's like this is a more premium feature that we're getting under a hundred dollars but it's just these little things which add up uh but the fact that you know it's open it won't flap around and it just flips closed there is magnet here it's just not plastic so i like that on the back you're going to be able to see a usb-c port so thank god it also supports fast charging so thank god um and Unfortunately though, it doesn't have wireless charging or MagSafe charging, but I mean, again, $80. We haven't seen that happen just yet. Maybe, more than welcome, but these ones, yeah, they'll, you know, they'll sit there or they'll sit like this, but there's no wireless charging. Charge, however, is I think more than fine for most people. Seven hours, full charge each earbud, so seven hours of playtime, and you get an additional 20 hours through the case. So that's more than enough for most people. Controls are also very easy. Um, it's just this one big button that each one of them has and just holding it down, you can increase volume, decrease volume. Um, pressing one is going to allow you to play pause, pick up calls, and you can even turn on the transparency mode. You can turn it on and off directly by clicking the left one once or twice. So a lot of the controls are built in. Oh, so it does have Google Assistant as well. It has Alexa, Google Assistant. So all of those things are actually 
actually built right into the headset and that's another big plus that you don't see with these cheaper earbuds you only see this with the more expensive more premium level headsets so it's really cool that they added all these controls and features into these earbuds also on the phone if you have the app it tells you the battery percentage so for me it's saying whoa it's saying 100 percent for mine uh you know it, it just has a really cool integration with the app the thing though with my usage over the past few weeks is that whenever i wanted to again play pause turn on uh the, turn up the volume or turn the volume down every time i would press this button it would kind of dislodge in my ear and i would have to keep every time i would have to readjust it again because they don't feel fit well in my ears so that's really annoying but each one of them has one really big button on the side and it's really easy to press you get that proper haptic feedback as well from the button press let me know if you can hear it <laughs> so you know you you get that feedback which is really nice to have I just wish they fit better in my ears. Also, one other thing I've noticed is that even weeks later, I still mess up putting these back. It's just, I don't know. I, I just I just can't figure out exactly which one goes where. Um, the good thing, I guess, is that it won't close all the way if you put them in wrong. So that doesn't mean uh, that you're losing time not charging. So, you know, if it goes in and the case closes, that means you put them in correctly and you can be assured that they're charging. Now, now's the fun part. Now's the part that everyone hates me for, okay? I, I even came up with a little bit more water this time, you know, just to add a little bit more frenzy. We also got the earbud soap. Obviously, this is the water test. This is the test that everybody wants to see. Now, these are said to be rainproof. It's on the box. However, we just need to see, like, what if one day you get stuck in the microwave? or no, the dishwasher. You know, you're stuck in the dishwasher, what are you gonna do? You're gonna call a sibling for help, of course, but you're gonna thank God that you watched this video because here we're gonna be actually test if they can survive a whole bucket of water. But before we do this, let's get a little bit of a sound test out of the way so you guys can hear it and then we'll dunk it. Anyone wondering, this is future girlfriend Benson Cut. So here you go. Again, sound I really like. I really enjoy the sound on these. The bass is also very clear. It's about to hit. Yeah, a proper, proper sound. Well, let's go ahead. I'm going to put one of them in here. One of them is going to remain out so we can keep an eye on whether it's still on and off. Ready? Okay, enough talk. Enough talk. Three, two... One, it's in. Now again, ladies and gentlemen, this is not supposed to be dunked in water, so don't do this at home. This is only for, you know, under controlled scientific conditions here in the studio, of course. Um, I'm gonna give it a few more seconds before we take it out. There were a few bubbles that came up. I don't know if you guys caught that, but this one is still playing, so this one is still. Obviously what this means also is they are mono usable. I don't know if that's the right term. You can only, you can, if you want to use just one. So you can have one inside here and have just one in your ear. That's up to you. All right, let's go ahead and take it out. Let's go ahead and see, see what we got going here. Again, this is the electrocution risk. I don't want to get electrocuted. Look at me risking my life. Yo, I don't hear anything. No, 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 I do hear something. Wait. It's getting louder. There's a lot of water in here. Oh, it, was a, it works. Let me see if the, con if the control works. Yeah, so these ones lower the volume. So as you can see, the volume's going down. So the button works, um, the earphones. So yeah, if you were caught up in the dishwasher for who knows what reason, 
you'll be fine. You'll be fine with these on. So you can do a few cycles in there and you'll be perfectly clear, fam. <laughs> so would I buy these for $100 or $80, fam? I would only if they fit better. These are packed with features that you don't see a lot of sub $100 earbuds have, which is awesome, but they just don't fit well. You know, that's the big thing with earbuds is they need to fit so you can actually use all those features. If it doesn't fit well in my ears, I can't use them. Uh, which is it which is like my tragedy. It's a tragic tale of fossil because they don't fit in my ear canals as well If you have more if you have like bigger ear canals or you've used earbuds like this before and they fit fine Then you'll have no problem and I have no problem recommending them to you But if you've tried earphones like these before and just like me, they don't fit well You need those cochlea ones or those earphone style then they just don't do it because these aren't going to fit. They're going to fall out and you won't be able to get the most use of the features that these bring to the table. But I like to see this. The fact that they're putting more and more of these premium features like Google Assistant, um, you know, this transparency mode, all of these features into sub $100 ear sets is awesome. Ladies and gentlemen, that's the end of this video. If you enjoyed, please go ahead and like this video. Subscribe as well. It's a small channel, but we are growing. And let me know in the comment section below, what do you think about this? Am I just being an idiot for not having these fit in my ear right? Am I doing something wrong? Let me know. And if you have any questions, feel free to reach them in the description or no. Leave them in the comments below and someone's going to help you out for sure. Um, I'm not a tech support guy, by the way. Relax. Okay. Take it easy, fam. Anyways, take it easy. Peace.